Welcome to Craft School Oz YouTube videos. Today we're going to learn how to start a coil basket circle um, using the magic circle. It's also used for crochet to start um, circles. So you might be familiar with it if you've done crochet before. Um, so what we're going to do is just use um, a tapestry needle. This is a chenille number 13 needle. And I'm using raffia because I like using raffia because it's strong and it's very pliable. And um, so I, I generally use this, but I do use other things. I use things like material um, and plants from the garden as well. Okay, so what we're going to do first is make this into a loop. This will be known as the core. So this is what goes through the center of your stitching. And then this is what we're going to stitch around with the needle and I'm going to use a colored thread. So we get this and we're going to make a loop like this. And then we need to secure this, so it's just like this, I'll do that again. We're going to secure this loop here by just putting the thread in like this. And the tail of this will go into the core here, so it just goes back under here. And then you hold that and then you're going to stitch in here. Just loop around like that and then I'm going to do a proper stitch and I'm using blanket stitch. Um, so if you're familiar with blanket stitch you'll know what I'm doing and if you're not you don't need to worry. So I'm just going to go in that hole there. This is going to be the center of the circle and this here will enable us to pull this to make the circle smaller. So that's why it's called a magic circle. So I'm just going to stitch around this circle about eight times going to the left. If you're left-handed, then you would do it the opposite way. You need to keep that little tail free at all times. So it looks like this. Let me another one. It all depends on, on the thickness of your raffia as to how many stitches you do. And because raffia is a plant, you're not going to get a uniform thread like you would if you used wool or um, a processed fibre. Okay, so it looks like that now and I'll show you what happens. So when we, we're keeping this here in our core and holding this, but we're going to pull this tail. We'll hold this bit here just to keep it secure. And then we pull the tail, which makes the circle smaller, the loop smaller. When you get to that stage, you just basically do a little twist, just a little pull those stitches around and then do a couple more stitches. I usually do between a total of between about um, 12 and 15 stitches. And then I'll pull that tail again, just like that. And then you pull the stitches around, like this. And then all of that comes together, and that becomes your core, which you're going to stitch around. So all the ends are in together to make it nice and neat. I'll just do one more stitch. And if you make a mistake with this, um, technique it's very forgiving and that's another reason I like doing making these coiled baskets so I've just gone in a little bit there just to kind of bridge the gap here and then I'm going to start stitching in here and that goes into our second circle our second circumference so what I do here is I start doing two stitches in every hole to keep the circle growing or else you'll just have a long tube. Okay, and that's basically it. So you just keep doing 
Okay.